Hello there! Are you curious to know what a hope chest is? Are you looking for ideas of what to put inside of your hope chest? Well, look no further. In this video, I'm going to explain the purpose of owning and using a hope chest and a few ideas of what to put inside your hope chest. So stick around to learn more. Hello there! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Beryl Ann and you can just call me Ann for short. In this video, I'm going to explain the purpose of owning a hope chest, what a hope chest even is, and a few ideas of what to put inside your hope chest. So, a little bit of history about hope chests. They're also known as cedar chests and they're also known as marriage boxes and they're also known as this word. I cannot pronounce it. Um, I'm sure it has a French undertone behind it, but I always call it a hope chest because you're in hopes and you're in good faith to get married one day. They've been around for many, many centuries. They did gain popularity here in America over time throughout history and especially throughout the 20th century, the 1900s, as marriage was just the norm of society. So it was hope chests. Um, they gained lots of popularity. And as marriage began to decline and the popularity of hope chests declined, it just became, I guess, a thing of the past. Um, they're out of style now or outdated. They're considered antiquated. If you still desire to have a hope chest, it's okay. Don't let the idea of hope chests being outdated intimidate you. I think it's a wonderful idea to collect things in preparation for marriage if you desire to be married. When I was single many many years I used to like want to collect things towards my future marriage and my future household with my husband. Um, I used to have people tell me don't do that, it's a waste of money, you're single, it's not necessary but I think it's a wonderful idea. When I did get married as of October 2020 just last year I got to use those items and it's just a wonderful feeling. I highly encourage you to try out a hope chest. So my chest is not really manufactured to be a hope chest. <laughs> Here's the backstory on how I got my chest. I found it at a thrift store. It was on sale, I believe, for just $24. And I loved how it looked. It's very pretty. I like to have the drawers have the handles, like they're thick drawers with the handles. So I like the curved leg look in everything that like classic style so um i bought it to store stuff in and i did not even know what a hope chest was during that time when i was buying it i just kind of bought it randomly uh, i thought it was a cute way of storing things and so i did not even know what a hope chest was until about one or two years before getting married surprisingly i used to collect things in hopes of marriage but i would still use them of course i used my bedding i used my curtains I use my linens and things. I think it's like a side table trunk or side table chest. It looks like more like a side table, but I still used it for a little bit of time as a marriage chest or hope chest. So with that being said, you don't have to have an actual marriage chest or a hope chest. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can use a small little box, a small little chest, or whatever you wish. So the purpose of owning and using a hope chest is to collect a few items over time to help prepare for marriage. So it's a really good idea if you're looking to get married, you desire to be married, or if you even just got engaged, you can even start a hope chest at that time to help you start getting organized and get ready for your future marriage <laughs> with, your, with your husband. So you're probably wondering what do I put inside of this chest? So here are a few items you could put inside of your hope chest or trunk or box, whatever you may call it. So number one is linens and curtains. I still use my curtains, but I had different curtains according to the season or the month. 
the other curtains I would store inside of my chest. Number two, you can add books and Bibles. When I found out what a hope chest was, I kind of reorganized my hope chest to make it so it's ready to add some more things in for my future marriage. So I added in little small Bibles and books about marriage and you can add in books about marriage, books about becoming a wife. Number three, money and savings. This is a really good one. If your chest has a lock on it or if you can buy a little box that has a lock on it or something if you live with other people, this is a good idea to save money in that little box with a lock on it or um, inside the chest because this money of course can go towards your marriage or even your wedding even your honeymoon and things like that. If you're single and you make a good amount of money, you can start putting some money towards your future marriage. Number four, you can add in recipes. Before I got married, I started practicing more baking and I wanted to perfect my skills with baking. I would save recipes and cookbooks and things like that into the chest. Number five, you can add in special collectibles, family safekeepings or trinkets or little knickknacks. Number six, this is a popular one. You can add in chinas and glasses or just add in chinas into your future home. You can add chinas and glasses into your marriage chest or your hope chest. Surprisingly, I had glasses as well. I had a few vintage style chinas and glasses that I saved. And it's a very safe way of storing your chinas and your glasses because it's inside the chest. Last but not least, I have gifts for your future husband. <laughs> this is a cute one. It's just nice to just think about who your future husband is going to be. I did not expect my future husband to be who he is at all. So it's always nice to pick out little small gifts towards your future husband. Um, it keeps you very hopeful. It's just... A special feeling. As of right now, I do use my hope chest for my sewing machine. As you can see, my husband and I moved into a smaller apartment, so we had to downsize a lot. So because of that, I don't have space for my sewing machine right now. So it is in the living room. It's sitting right in front of me right here. Now, and I plan on when we get a bigger place, hopefully in the future, I can use it for storage again. In a different room. Um, even after you get married, you can continue owning your marriage chest um, or you can give it away to someone, a, a girl who's planning on getting married as well. I did read somewhere that marriage chests or hope chests was given to the oldest daughter in the family so she could continue passing it down um, to the next women in the family, her sisters or cousin nieces. In my next video, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons to owning a hope chest. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until next time, God bless. Bye guys.